COVID has hit and lots of us have seen an uptick in grilling and smoking and a lot of us have kind of gained the COVID-19 20 or you know something like that because we're just eating a lot more at home and we're snacking and when I think about food I think about things that make me comfortable so I go to comfort food and one thing that's been a comfort food in my family for years is meatloaf and so today we're going to be smoking a meatloaf on our Traeger Ironwood 650 we're going to be going at 225 until we hit an internal temperature of 160 this meatloaf is going to be beautiful I can't wait to try this let's get started So we've stepped inside to the kitchen while we're waiting for our Traeger to heat up. It takes about 15 minutes to reach that 225 level that I'm looking for. And I wanna show you all the ingredients we're gonna be using today. It may seem like a lot of ingredients at first, but all this is just gonna be one flavor-packed meatloaf. Let me show you what we're dealing with. So the key to a good meatloaf, obviously you want a lot of flavor. Ugh. So the key to a good meatloaf is that you want a lot of obvious good flavor. So let me show you what we're dealing with here. First, we're gonna put some peppers and onions in there. These are frozen. I'm gonna be wrapping my meatloaf in center cut bacon. And for the meat mixture, we're using a 50-50 mix of some organic ground beef and some Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. Now to add more flavor to this, I'm gonna be using the Smoky Dust by uh, the Smoky Boys, the Hog Rub. And then we're gonna get some of the Holy Gospel uh, barbecue rub from Meat Church. I'm going to add in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Uh, we have some cheese that we're going to be using, just some sharp cheddar there. I have the eggs that we'll be mixing with and as our binder we'll be using our pork panko right here so that we can make sure that it retains that meatloaf shape. And we'll also be using some Stubbs Original Barbecue to kind of add a glaze at the very end of the cook with about 10 to 15 minutes left. The first step to our process is we have our pan here and we're going to be lining this pan on each side with some bacon strips. Then we're going to put the meatloaf mixture together, put it in there and then wrap it on top with some more bacon. And that's the last piece there. So I've lined the pan with bacon and I did a strip on each side to kind of get this butterfly effect of some uh, delicious center cut bacon. So now we're going to put our meat mixture together and uh, put it in the loaf shape, get it in here, then we're going to get it on the smoker. So I've just cut our sausage in half and our ground beef in half. Like I said, I'm using a 50-50 mixture. Now we're gonna mix everything in, get it nice and formed, and then we're gonna put it in the pan and finish wrapping it up. First up, we're gonna add some of the Holy Gospel Barbecue Rub from Meat Church. Next, we're gonna add some smoky dust uh, hog rub and we're just going to go kind of light on that because we use a little bit of our uh, holy gospel rub. Now we're going to add some peppers and onions to the mix just like that. Get it all in there. We're going to use some Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce next. Like that. Next I have some shredded sharp cheddar cheese that I'm gonna add in there as well. And we're gonna mix that in. Now I'm not doing any exact measurements here, but when you're cooking barbecue, you kinda just know. Uh, we're gonna add our, ed our eggs next. And 
And last, we're gonna add some pork panko as our binder. Now I'm just adding a little bit first because I wanna get that mixture together and then I'm gonna add more on the tail end so that we make sure it solidifies. Now you can see the mixture is still very wet, so we've got to add a little bit more binder. All in all, we'll be using about a cup, maybe a cup and a quarter of this panko as a binder to make sure that it holds together well. Now we can see that it's sticky and it's kind of holding together in a ball. So we're going to transport it to this pan over here. Come on around, let me show you. This is gonna look beautiful. Not only look beautiful, taste beautiful. So now we're gonna form it in that loaf shape. I don't like that. We've got it in our loaf shape, so now I'm gonna finish wrapping it up with our little bacon blanket here. Now one side covered like so. And then we're just gonna bring these over as the final touch. Beautiful. Before we finish this up and we put it on the Traeger, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Smoky Dust Hog Rub on top just to add a little bit of color and a little bit more flavor. That sugar in there is gonna help it kind of uh, make the bacon a little bit more candied, a little bit more delicious. I can't wait to do it. Prep time for this meatloaf was very quick, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And during that time we had the Trey Ironwood 650 preheating, which it's already leveled out at the temp. So we're gonna open it up here. You hear that roaring jet engine going? We're gonna place this right on the center grate. Next, I'm gonna take my probe here and we're gonna thread it through and we're gonna put it right in the center until we reach an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Before that, I have the alarm going off at about 150 so that I can come outside, put some of that barbecue sauce glaze on top of it. So we finally hit the internal temperature of 150. So now we're gonna take some of our Stubbs barbecue sauce here and we're gonna uh, glaze it on and let it cook for the next 10 to 15 degrees until we hit an internal temperature of about 160, 165. And this glaze is just gonna add a nice little bit of color around it. Okay. So we just finished glazing it. That's gonna add some really nice color when we pull this off, I'm gonna reset the probe alarm to 160, and then we're just gonna let it cook for the next 10, 15 minutes or so, however long it's gonna take. And then we'll pull it off, let it cool, put it on the rack, cut open into it, and see how it looks. So we just reached our internal temperature of 165. I'm now going to take it off, and we're gonna let it rest inside the kitchen because it started to rain again out here. And we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes, take it out, and then we're gonna slice into it. So we just moved it out of the pan. It's been resting for maybe 10 minutes or so. Should be cool enough. Uh, you can see that it looks really pretty. It has a beautiful color to it. That nice red glaze from the, uh, from the barbecue sauce that we put on at the tail end of it. So we're gonna slice into it now and we're gonna see how it looks and then I'm gonna take a bite and see how it tastes. So I just sliced it open, come down close and take a look at this beautiful, delightful, wet mess of food that we have. You can see that we got some of the peppers and onions, the cheese melted. We have some nice, beautiful color. Right in here, you can see a little bit of a smoke ring. 
I'm gonna take a piece of this and uh, we're gonna take a bite because I'm fat. It's COVID time. Let's do this. What a beautiful delight this is. I'm so excited. I'm gonna cut into it and we're gonna try a bite. Mmm. Wow, that's got some great flavor. You can really taste the rubs coming out. The cheese adds a little bit of creaminess to it. The sausage, the beef play well with each other. The bacon just makes everything better. This was a delicious and an easy recipe. I can't wait to see what you guys do. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you want to see, your thoughts on this cook, things I could have done differently. We'll see you next time.